everyone, it's CL. So for today's video, I kind of have a little bit of a haul for you all today. As a beginner Lego investor, I really went back and forth whether or not I wanted to have a BrickLink store. And for a good week or two thinking about it, I thought that I would just sell things on eBay. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it was a lot of my anxiety speaking because I know nothing about the BrickLink website and it's just something new and I kind of wanted to run away from something new you know but I finally decided to bite the bullet and I created a BrickLink store I'm currently not authorized to sell yet because I have to reach that requirement of having like one positive feedback from a established seller so essentially I'm just trying BrickLink and whether or not I will like BrickLink in general as yet another platform that I sell on I think I will give BrickLink a try at least at least for the remainder of the year to see whether or not I like it and then, and then I can decide whether in 2022 if I want to keep Brick, BrickLink as a store that I sell on or if, if it's not for me but I won't really know unless I try it so even today I went to a few places and bought some supplies to like get started as far as having as far as like building a Lego inventory for BrickLink or eBay. I look and I was taking a look at the Lego sets yet again and I was it's like all I can think about every time I'm in like Target, Walmart, every time I'm in like these stores I automatically am thinking Legos. This just goes to show how the idea of Lego investing has taken over my mind because I keep thinking about it and that's how it was with Poshmark when I first started selling on Poshmark. I put so much effort into it just to get established and it really took me a good year to understand fully how to best make money on that platform. But anyways, back to what I was saying. When I was in the store today, I was looking at the Legos and was deciding whether or not I should buy a set to part out to kind of have like starting inventory for my BrickLink store. And I stood there for a good 15 minutes just walking back and forth, contemplating, kind of looking stuff up on BrickLink. And in the end, I did not buy any Lego sets to part out because I decided that I do have some Lego sets um, here at home that were personal Lego sets of mine, which I've decided to let those Lego sets go, part them out, and just see how it goes with selling on BrickLink. So yeah. So anyways, I do have a very small haul of supplies that I want to share with you all. So my first stop was at Joann's and for those of you who don't have Joann's in your area, Joann's is like a craft store like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby. So I went to Joann's just to see what they had and I picked up three of these little divider cases. I have three here which these were cheap these were only like five dollars or less than five dollars I think it was like four fifty or something like that for one um so I went ahead and picked up a few of these and I like how they stack now I know the the seasoned lego investors and resellers on BrickLink they have those really intense whole rooms dedicated to selling legos basements dedicated to selling legos garages that they use to sell Legos. Um, I am far from that point and I'm just starting off with my three little cubbies. I also went to Target and I bought like six of these little containers. At Target they have that discount one to five dollar section and these I think were a dollar each. Yeah these were a dollar each so I got six of these. And then I picked up these little cubes so they come in a pack of four. I got four of these packs of four. I was gonna use these to part out Legos. I seen somebody on their channel, they had something similar, not exactly this, but they had like little cubbies. I thought that was a good idea when I was watching his video, so I decided to copy him and pick these up. These were really cheap for four, I think they were only two dollars at Target. So what I already have, just as part of my reseller supplies in general, um, I do already have those like clear plastic baggies. I'm gonna use some clear plastic baggies to store my Lego parts. Um, and at Walmart, if you ever been to where like the clear tubs are, they have like this drawer system. It's like it's like a plastic drawer so, uh, which has like three drawers that you can pull out. They're made of plastic, so I bought that to kind of store my Lego parts in and that will be kind of like my Lego area because I am small scale. So I'm kind of wondering 
where this Lego journey will take me, whether or not I decide if it's for me or maybe I will find that it's not for me. Um, and I'm kind of curious. So if I fall even deeper into Lego investing, Lego reselling, I don't know how that's going to translate as far as my home is concerned because I don't have a lot of space. I don't have like a garage or a storage unit or anything like that. I just have my home, my apartment, you know? So I'm kind of curious if this gets out of hand, how will that look in my home? Will my home look officially like I belong on Hoarders? I hope not, but let's see where this journey takes me. So yeah, that's what I have for now. I think maybe in another video, I'm going to just go around my home and collect whatever Legos I currently have and I will part them out and see how I do. So yeah, so that will be an upcoming video as far as this Lego journey here. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, give a like and subscribe and check out the links below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.